Well, when my father used to put them putts in, he used to put me in a boat when I was 18 months and tie, tie me in with a bit of rope to stop me falling in the river. Sit me on the seat and said, don't fall in because your mother uh, 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 play Mary L. And when I was eight years old, he... <laughs> He, he he gave me a pair of he got me a pair of wedding turns and I'd have to stand in the water and fill me boots up to give him hand to put the putts. When you're brought up brought up with it, I suppose you take an interest. You do what you know about. Because eh? any cause any fool can get out on, out on this river and do some up, but they did they, they don't always come back. I did do nothing stupid because you don't do anything stupid in this river because you'll get caught. Because them currents uh, get you off your feet in, in no one. If there's a lot of water in there, it'll soon take you off your feet. Don't you worry about it. Oh, every so often this river claims a few odd ones. Yeah. yeah. In that river you don't fool about. Don't matter who you are. You could live here 60 years, you could live here five years but you don't take risks because the church yards are, are full of them like that my lady friend says you want to take your bed down there but, but of course as i got older she keeps telling me off for going down there well in january we would be cutting the willow preparing to get the butchers in on the 15th of april we would cut it until uh February and March, as soon as the sap started to run. The obvious thing is to try and get straight rods, but where I only do a few, I just cut the rods where I can. January, we should be butcher making February, and, and then as, as the nights got longer, evenings and that, we should be down the river working on repairs mostly. That there is where I split them in two. Where they got too big, look. Yeah. I, I think they're too big. I've got the acker, as I say, and gone down. Low. Yeah, well, there should be three lengths of this. There should be ten foots, seven foots, and six foot. But unfortunately, you can't get ten. And this is what I do now, is the top band. Then it's up and over. I I don't do the ordinary weave, I tuck it over. That's the first stage. Right, this is the start. So you notice I got thinner rods and thicker rods, so you've got to work them all, all in together. So what you do, look, you put these in here like this. As I say, this is where you want your your fingers very, very pliable because yeah. this is like making a basket on, on the end of these things. That's the framework. There you are. You've got your, you've got your circle now. There. You see how it's beginning to take shape now, can't you? And this time, it's three fingers. That is what we call the finishing off with Elo. And that young man is that. There you are.